Well, I've been listening to the old Con uh, organ amplifier for probably about a week now. Yeah, it still sounds great. I've just had it hooked up temporarily with these uh, little clips here. So now I've ordered some parts. I've got some speaker jacks, some input jacks. I've got a ganged uh, uh, volume control for both right and left channel. And there's an old volume control knob that I had. And here's an old switch that I had that I'll put in for an AC switch. Now I kind of have to decide what's going to be the front and the back of this amp. I've been using it this way right here. And I want to preserve this old um, kind of schematic here, or at least layout of the tubes. So what I think I'm going to do is take the output jacks. And here's the current output connector. So if I put them right about here, um, that would work. It would be short little jumpers over to where the outputs are already coming from. Now this screw back here, there's a resistor right there that's mounted on the case for uh, heat sink factor. So I'll probably move that over to one side or the other just to get it out of the way. And for the inputs, I think, you know, here's where the inputs are coming in right now, and here's the preamp tubes. So I think I'm going to put them on this side right here. There's a nice opening underneath there that they'll go right there. That'll be these little guys. Just have them stuck right here, right and left. And the volume control, I'm going to put a plate over the, the open holes here. I think I'll stick that right about there. So I think what will happen is that'll make this the front. So that you can get to the volume control. The power switch, I mean the most logical spot is right back here in that hole. It's kind of behind the power transformer, but it should be okay. And I'm just going to use this uh, uh, voltage regulator tube as a uh, as a lamp to tell you that whether the amplifier is on and off. It's like a pilot light lamp because it is it glows very bright when the uh, unit's powered on. So that's why I kind of want to leave it on there and um, looks very cool when it's working. So that'll be the layout. Inputs here, volume control, power switch, and outputs back here. So that's the next step. Start installing all these parts. And what I think I'm going to do with the case or the uh, chassis is just leave it like it is. Um, that's certainly easier to do. And it kind of tells a story. You, know, you can tell that you just dragged it out of a old organ and that was infested with mice and everything else rather than something brand new. So that's how it's going to look right there. All right, well, I've been taking a few steps here. I went through and drilled out all these rivets that were holding the uh, electrolytic capacitor down and uh, popped them out. So this makes it a nice smooth surface. And I'm using some of this scrap um, sheet fiberglass that I have to uh, plug all the holes. So this one's just uh, plugged completely. And uh, this one here, I plugged and put in the volume pot. And you know, that control right there is going to go on it. That's how I control the volume. And that is a dual ganged, um, what was it, 250K pot to replace these two right here, which were just on the organ used to balance the two channels. Um, and I was using them as a uh, volume control and balance. So, since this is ganged, there will be no balance control, but I don't think I really need it. I'll just independently control the two channel volumes uh, just by replacing these two with that one. And now what I'm going to do too here, uh, get this back over. Um, I've already popped this loose here, this uh, power cord. You can see it's uh, uh, not indexed. There's no 
both of those uh, um, spades are the same size, so you can't you can get it reversed. And what I want to do is put a uh, switch in here. Just use this old switch that I had laying around. That's going to be my power switch. So I want to go in to the power switch first from the AC, then go over to the fuse, and then into the power transformer. I want to make sure that when I click that switch, um, it switches the hot side of the uh, of the power so that once the switch is turned off the only hot uh, line is going to the switch itself keeps everything else um, low voltage so in order to do that and make sure that happens I'm going to put this uh, indexed power cord on where it has uh, you know the wider lug here for the neutral and then the a narrower one for the hot, so I'll make sure the hot connects to the switch. So it'll be a little bit safer. I don't really want to put a uh, three-pronged on and ground this thing because I have heard that um, when you ground an amplifier, you can wind up when you start hooking up things like uh, other uh, devices like a turntable or uh, you know a um, other input devices you can get ground loops if if this is grounded so I'm gonna go ahead and let that float and see if I can prevent that from happening so that's the plan go ahead and put this one on and uh, put the power switch right here that's the most logical spot for it I'll have to kind of reach behind the uh, transformer to get to it that should be okay and then I'll have the volume control right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the inputs over here on this side and then the speaker outputs will be right back here someplace and I got the input jacks installed and connected up so the input uh, you know, comes in here goes to the volume control pod and then down to the preamp tubes that worked out okay. Now right back here is where I'm going to put the uh, speaker jacks. So one here and one here. And then uh, they'll just run over to this um, connector here, which was the original output connector. It goes back into the uh, transformers, one on each side. And then the negative side will just hook up to the bus bar, the ground bus bar. They're almost there. Yeah, the con organ amp conversion is complete. So again, here's the on-off switch back here. There's the uh, speaker connections. And uh, here we've got the volume control. And the input's over on this side. So it's still sounding really good. So that's the uh, end of this conversion. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this thing down here in the basement and enjoy it for quite a while I hope. It's as long as the tubes last.